the same big buck we saw yesterday that uh, Steve and I tried to pass the bows back and forth, uh, the, the camera and the bow. So anyway, um, this is like the second morning of our hunt and um, uh, Steve killed a bomber buck yesterday. We're in the actual same setup. Uh, about a 40 minutes before daylight, we heard some deep, deep grunts and um, a couple of little chasing things, uh, but uh, hadn't seen anything since daylight. It's probably, I gotta look at the clock here. It's only 10 after seven. And um, this guy came up by himself right up the, the same run that all the deer come. So made a really great shot on him. And uh, I don't know how far he, he ran. It sounded like I heard some crashing up there. So we're gonna give him a little bit of time and, and we're gonna go recover our deer. And this is the first time in 18 years that Steve and I have been coming to Kansas that we got this done on day two. <laughs> That's never happened before, so I can't wait to go get my hands on them. Well, this is exactly what you come to Kansas for. This is our second day of the hunt. Steve killed a bomber 148 yesterday morning and we went back to the same stand. We had so much activity. And uh, I think yesterday we saw maybe eight or nine different bucks and a few different does that we believe one of them was, you know, almost ready and the bucks were chasing her. Came in this morning and um, we got in about an hour before daylight and in the dark we could hear some deep grunts happening and then 10 after 7 this guy walks up the the the, the go-to run you know for this uh, particular stand Steve has killed a bunch of bucks on this run and this beautiful eight pointer I mean just heavy and thick and uh, very big body um, so we've only put in two posts in Kansas and we've killed two mature bucks, which has never happened in the 20 years we've been hunting together. And uh, it's just been uh, just magical. So um, just an awesome, great buck.